Okay, when we talk about uh, an arithmetic series, we're actually talking about the sum of a sequence. Okay, so a series, the term series always means the sum of a sequence. So I'm actually being a little bit redundant when I say the sum of an arithmetic series. I should say the sum of an arithmetic sequence is a series. So, but what we want to be able to do is find out a way to quickly find the sum of an arithmetic sequence or find the sum of a, the, the value of a series. Well, the best way to think about this is to pair up the numbers. And the way we pair them up is we pair the first number with the, with the last number. And when we do this, we get 38. 3 plus 35 is 38. And then if we pair the next two numbers, 7 plus 31, we also get 38. And this happens, the pattern just keeps going and going and going until you get to the end. Sometimes, if you have an even number of terms, you've got a specific number of uh, pairs that, that are 38. Other times, you have a uh, odd number of terms, and you've got um, a certain number of pairs that add up to 38, and some that add up to 19. So the better way to do it is to recognize that the, um, all the numbers, if you add them up like I have, all have an average of whatever the middle of the sequence is. If you notice, all of these have an average of 19. 19 is the middle one, 15 and 23, average to 19. 11 to 20 and 27, 38 divided by 2 is 19, and so on and so forth. So you've got nine numbers, all with an average of 19. So 9 times 19 is just going to give you 171. So the sum of that sequence is 171. So let's see if we can do the same thing um, with this first one. Well, first off, our average, because the first and the last add up to 160 or 120, the average of the numbers equals 60, right? If you do all the pairs, the total average throughout the entire sequence is going to be 60 for the same reason it was 19 up there. So the question is, how many numbers are there that have that have average out to 60 well just do the same thing we did in the last pro, uh, video lesson and that is that um, you take the first um, you write it as 4 plus 7 X right that's our um, arithmetic uh, algebraic way of writing the sequence and then we set that equal to 116 we solve this equation and we end up with X equals 16 but we recognize that it's, you remember that you always have to add 1 at the end, and so it's going to be 16 plus 1, which equals 17. So there are 17 numbers, all that have an average of 60, and so your sum of all these is going to be 1,020. So the solution to example 2 is 1,020. So to formalize that, what we do is we give a formula for the sum of a series. Well, what did we do here? We did the first plus the last, and so the sum of the series is always going to be the first plus the last divided by 2, and then we multiplied that times the number of terms, right? First plus the last gives you the average, and then multiply that times the number of terms. So 5 plus 155 is 160 divided by 2. We need to multiply that times the number of terms. To do number of terms, remember we just do 5x plus 6 equal, or not 5x plus 6, 5 plus 6x, because the difference is 6, equals 155. When you do this, you find out that x equals 25. Add 1 to that to give you the number of terms. That means there are 26 terms. So this sum is just going to be 80 times 26, which equals 2,080. The last problem we want to look at is a similar type problem, except this time it says find the sum of the first 42 terms of this series. Well, to do that, we need to know what the last term is, right? Because it's first plus the last. We already know, we know it's going to be 12 plus something divided by 2 times 42, right? We just need to know what that last term is. So we use our, our algebraic... This time, I'm subtracting 11, so it's going to be a negative 11 times x equals, well, remember, x is always one less than the number of terms, so we've got to do 41 times negative 11 instead of 42. The 41 times negative 11 is 
um, so we put 41 in there for x, gives you negative 451, and so you're gonna, this is going to equal negative 439. So the last term is negative 439, so you end up with 12 plus negative 439, and you get negative 427, you divide that by 2, and then you multiply by 42, and you find out that the sum of this sequence up here is negative 8,967. So by following the formula, using our algebra we learned about sequences, we can very easily find the sum of any arithmetic sequence.